hey hey today's video is going to be a shop with me oh wait let me just make sure that i've locked my car um so the end of the month number one payday weekend number two it is the end of my spending ban and number three it's mother's day it is the trifecta of shopping since it's after work shopping first stop is always a burrito first shopping stop is zara which i don't usually shop in because it's expensive so we'll see how this goes i have some sandals some crossover sandals from topshop that I wear every year and everyone asks me where they're from and these aren't the same but they're very similar i've only been in here two minutes and i've already got two things to try on this is already going better than it usually does these shoes are so cute too I really, I'm coming around to this square toe thing that I thought I hated when it first came back, the, the 90s resurgence. I really like this colour, I really like the style of trousers. I don't like the buttons. I think I'd like the buttons if they were on both sides, but they're just on one side. Number one, this is what I'm wearing. And Ella finds this to be incredibly embarrassing. She says she wants to find me an outfit in Topshop. I love this. This is really nice. Although, bra wise I'd have to wear something like a want to be seen bra underneath it but I really really like this this is a medium I think a medium is is good it's got an elasticated waist that feels comfortable as a medium I don't think I'd want to go any smaller than this but very gay piece you'd have to wear like a bodysuit or something you know I would want to wear a bodysuit or something you know lacy or something underneath that I wouldn't mind to be seen but really really nice love the colour same really nice very forgiving around the waist it would get a bit annoying because this is kind of big this is perfect on the bottom half. Not so much on the top half, which is crazy because I am larger on my top half than I am on my bottom half. I don't know, but I like, I really, really like the style. I do struggle with jumpsuits um, because they're not great in, in terms of giving me much shape, but I liked this one because it's got these like, it's like gathered here. I don't know if it's gonna pick up because it's all black, but I do think I get like, I mean, I'm feeling particularly bloated today. It's been, it's been, it's been an eating day. Um, I, I'm not feeling 100% in this, but as jumpsuits go, I like that it's got some shape. I feel like it should have pockets. I really feel like I'm missing pockets. I really like this material, this like soft touch. There's something in other outfits I really like in this material, but it's just too expensive. If you've been on Instagram, you know I am obsessed with this one dress that I got from Primark that's like very similar in style to this, but it's black and floral patterned and this is so so similar in style it's got that short waist this is good for me because i've got a short waist um however i feel like you can see <laughs> everything through this this is kind of clinging in all the wrong areas and i think you can see my underwear nearly god maybe if it was a darker color this is the thing i saw when we first walked in that is like so my summer vibe but it feels like it's got a lot of material back here. I think it was the lining. Bunched up a little bit. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. This is one that is more expensive than my regular dresses. I suppose it's not great here, is it? Again, this is not a great day to be trying clothes on. But I do feel like there's a lot of excess lining material that's like a little bit bunched up. I love the idea of this dress. It's very like boho hippie vibe which is totally what I'm going for. Really liked the idea of this? No. <laughs> it's too long for sure. I like it. I don't know like obviously I wouldn't well not obviously but I wouldn't wear it with this. It's kind of too bulky I think to wear with this. Um maybe if it was like a little bit of a thinner material. But I think if I wore it with my shorts, I wear my shorts really high, like really high waisted shorts and then it would be really gathered. How would you wear this? This is just a no, right? The sleeves are quite interesting. I just don't think I would wear this. There were actually a few things in there that I really liked, the dresses. Topshop is up next. I wanna find some like jogging bottoms that don't, oh my God, they're so soft. Oh, they are the softest things I've ever felt in my entire life. I'm gonna say ones that don't go baggy straight away. Oh my God, I really want these now. I've never felt something softer than this. Um, I want some for the plane, but I feel like as soon as I sit down for 10 hours on the on the flight, I'm just gonna get like baggy in the bum and the knees and then look terrible. Loving the Las Vegas top. I have more than enough swimwear. Possibly to last me a lifetime, but I love swimwear. I love the stuff right now. I feel like a lot of stuff has not suited me in the past and then suddenly they've changed the game. Oh my God. I really like this. Since I bought my leopard print skirt like this from um, H&M, I'm totally seeing this like silky midi skirt in a completely different way. You could wear it, well I mean, 
this is a daytime look. But you could wear it and it not be that dressy. Can you? Is that true? I don't know. Especially in this colour. But I, I can see it being more casual than I originally thought. Also, I really, really like this. Oh my god, look at that colour. Found another one. Like a pale olive. Um, I didn't know that there were seagulls. Yes, I mean, obviously. I absolutely love these pyjamas. They are my favourite thing that I've seen so far in Topshop. Honestly, I didn't see a tremendous amount of stuff that I wanted in Topshop. However, Ella found me an outfit somewhere in here. Um, she wanted me to try and sew. The rest of it is kind of just for lol. I am getting a serious Miami Vice vibe from this. I'm not hating it. It was kind of a joke. But now it's becoming real. I don't dislike this. I mean, I think it's mostly the trousers that I really like. I didn't think that would at all. Ella says this is like a Chinese robe. I see where she's coming from. This is the outfit that Ella chose for me. Um, so I don't hate this, this top in theory. This, it, it feels like my like, ooh, <laughs> vest top, or a little vest rather, underwear from my childhood. This, I, I don't hate. These are huge. This is all the laws. I really wanted to try this on because I thought maybe it would act like sparks and it definitely does, but <laughs> it all has to go somewhere. It was very difficult to do all, but it's not quite as spanky as I would like. It's nice though. It's nice. I probably should have got a medium. I got a small. I was optimistic. I thought maybe it would be more spanky, but you can definitely see. <laughs> it's not done everything I would hope for. Not necessarily something I'd spend £100 on, but it's nice. Got some colourful accessories going on in Topshop. I really like these. Um, I might have shown you these in Primark videos before, but they were like the actual, you know, like this. I don't totally get how, how I'm supposed to wear these. At least when it's a headband, it's like, done for you. I also really wish that my ears were still pierced. They healed over, that whole like, um, situation with scarring, keloid scarring, that's the way they like grow, it's not great. Um, but earrings are back. I really wish that my ears were still pierced so I could wear them. I almost forgot this was on my list while I was on my no buy because I really really liked the original but it made me really really dry if I used it consecutively on too many days. This is a new hydrating one. I've just been to Primark so that is going to be a video coming up very soon. Last stop is Debenhams because that's where we parked our car but also I'm hoping to pick up a new carry-on case. The question is right now and I realise that the light is a bit pink on. that's slightly more true to life whether I get the grey or the black. I thought the black was the nicest online, but now I'm here. This is actually, it's got like a, a faux carbon fibre look to it. And I think maybe the grey is the nicer one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh there's a khaki one. Decisions, decisions. The cases that we've always had are these ones, and we've got tons, tons. We've got two mediums and two cabin zip cases, but they all match and they're white, and they don't do the white anymore. So this is where my dilemma is. That I really like trip luggage. I was tempted an away suitcase but then quickly realized how insane that was um and i think this is the closest and the one i like the most but which color if only you were here to decide for me decision has been made ella thinks i'm insane for even needing to make a decision about suitcase i'm certain at least one of you watching will agree with me it's important as i walked past this the pineapple was glistening at me bye me oh my goodness i need a reason to buy that dress this dress is also very nice. Oh, am I gonna regret not buying that Zara dress? That is the question. Possibly, I also really like that. I'm having a red moment. Ooh, 28 pounds, this dress. What is this brand? Oh, it's Villa. This is a new area in here. So they're obviously showcasing different brands. Debenhams has had a big revamp in Meadow Hall. And the beauty section of stuff is amazing now, but I don't often. Oh, yeah, you see different brands. This store will be closing in 15 minutes' time. Thank you. <gasps> oh my god. Again, if only I had more time, 100% would be trying that on. And that is it for another Come Shop With Me. Good night to Meadowall. <laughs> we have been here for far too long. My Primark Come Shop With Me will be coming in a few days. And I will see you guys then. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.